I hiked the Pacific Crest Trail in 2019 and it was one of the most amazing experiences of my entire life. When I was out on trail, I often thought to myself, how would I answer somebody if they said to me, should I hike the PCT? And the answers came thick and fast. And I thought, what a perfect video idea. So I'm gonna share with you in this video, my highlights of the trail, what I got out of it. And I also asked a lot of my fellow hikers out on trail their thoughts, so I'm going to share them with you too. The first thing I have to mention about the Pacific Crest Trail and why you should hike it is for the trail itself. It is a mere two foot wide trail, but it is ever changing. If you don't know what the Pacific Crest Trail is, it's a long distance hiking and equestrian trail. It was designated a National Scenic Trail in 1968, but not officially completed until 1993. The southern terminus starts south of Campo by the Mexico border, and the northern terminus is at the Canada border, just on the edge of Manning Park. passes through the states of California, Oregon and Washington. It's 2,653 miles long, with a total elevation of 420,880 feet. The highest point being Forrester Pass at 13,153 feet and the lowest point being at Cascade Locks which is 140 feet.
meeting new friends on trail. Now, I did not set out with that purpose of meeting new people, but my goodness, did it enrich the experience. And you make friends quickly out there. You bond very, very fast with people because you're all out there for the same reason. And you're just like-minded people. And it so, oh, I can't begin to tell you what a difference it made meeting people out on trail. And I'm not just talking other hikers, I'm talking people in towns, trail angels, which I'm gonna do a completely different video on because that warrants a video in itself and it would just take up far too much time here. But my goodness, did I have some good times with people out on trail. <laughs> There's Spooky and Hudlum. <laughs> I've got my little lunch companion today. <laughs> This is Lisa and JD. Hello. 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 I'm Kevin. <laughs> oh. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, socks. <laughs> My little trail buddies for the snowy section. Yay. <laughs> now, we rest. now we rest. <laughs> so we're all in the ranger station <laughs> eating our carrots. We're being looked after. They provide some drinks here, some crisps and hot dogs if you want them. Oh. <laughs> We're all hiking hard, aren't we? We've got our bandana. And what's the plan tomorrow, guys? We're gonna leave tomorrow. We're not gonna stay here for like um, several days. We're gonna leave. We're all gonna leave tomorrow. We will not be here having taco salad tomorrow night, will we? No. No. Cheers. What's up? We haven't actually introduced my um, little trammelly yet. Hitler from Chicago area. <laughs> and we're from Germany. You want some ice? Go on then. <laughs> I can. We're ready. <laughs> 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 Hey, I've not introduced the Lost Boys. Introduce yourself, guys. Hi, Rick. Douglas. Douglas. <laughs> On trail, you get as much solitude as you wish. You can hike alone, you can camp alone, you can stay in rooms on your own when you get to towns, or you can socialise with people. And I like the mix of both. There's so much going on in this world and being out there just gives you that chance to just press the pause button, go back to basics, smell things, taste things, feel things, and just be present. One thing that blew my mind out there was the amount of weird things that I saw that I just did not expect to see. And I loved that. I loved coming around a corner and seeing something unusual. It was just like I was a child experiencing new things all the time. I think the cactus, but they look like they've got fingers. Look at this cool rock. I can't decide if it looks like an armadillo or a really big fish. I've got no idea what it is. It's some kind of, I don't know if it's a fruit or what, but it's hanging off this plant here, look. And it's quite spiky. But this brownie tree smells like vanilla. What is that? It really does. <laughs> does I make... just want to eat it. <laughs> I'm here at Eagle Rock. Wow. 
That is kind of impressive. Okay, I think I'm finally cracking up. Is it me or does this tree look like it's got like a little Ewok thing going on? Right there. So it's half past eight in the morning and I'm sitting in a hot spring on the PCT. The trunk is just fascinating. It really is amazing to see all these different types of trees in such a small space of path. They're incredible. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. It's like it's doing weird little aerobics or some kind of dancing. <laughs> it is a tree with legs. That is an amazing tree. A hummingbird was literally sitting on my head. I couldn't believe it. It more or less, I actually felt his little feet on my head. These holes in this tree, I don't know if it's a woodpecker or it's just the way the tree's formed, but it actually looks like the tree is leaking. It's got all this stuff, I'm presuming it's sap. But it kind of looks really incredible. It's just randomly on the side of the trail and it's really strange. All different shapes and sizes. These ones remind me of banana pancakes. It's that hardcore out here that the trees even eat the signs. <laughs> Absolutely fascinating. It reminds me of coral. It's absolutely incredible. It's a white slug. The moss on this tree, it looks like velvet. It is so bright as well. These plants remind me of snakes. Look at the way their heads are up like that. I've not even stepped in yet. Oh my goodness, just look at that. This is reminding me of so many horror films. <laughs> the reason why I chose the PCT over any other trail was for the scenery. You get such diverse scenery over there because you have got the desert, you've got the snowy Sierra, and then you've got what feels like a tropical Washington. The path crosses 25 different national forests and seven national parks.
If you love animals, insects, creatures of all kinds, you will love being out there. I am a huge animal lover. From beetles to bears, you will get it all. You get to see things in their natural environment, especially on mornings and evenings when you're still, you just get to see everything and you never know what is around the next corner. Everything was an absolute surprise to me every time I saw it. And I ended up talking to the animals quite a lot. So that is optional. Life on Trail gives you a new home every single day. You get to wake up to a different view every single morning and go to bed in a different home every single night. And very quickly, your couple of millimetre thin construction becomes your safety zone. And you can pick so many different places to sleep with such variety. It is just wonderful sitting in your tent on a night, looking out at something different. It never gets boring.
you get to be what you want to be on trail and oh my goodness did I get to be a silly little girl quite a lot of the time whether I'm glissading down something or just laughing with friends you don't have to take yourself too seriously as long as you're sensible and follow certain rules everything else is to play for and you can have as much fun as you want while you're out there all right limbo Are we limboing? poppins it's time to limbo we get up with the music on boop 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 Oh, you did that so gracefully. So I'm upside down in the back of a pickup truck because apparently it's illegal in California to be in the back of a truck. Oh, there's Kevin. Where's Jennifer? I think, I think I've got you. There she is. Yeah, we're proper hiker trash now. That is so bad. <laughs> this sign. I'm a little bit nervous. Here it goes. Hey, we're in Bigfoot territory. I'm sure I can hear something. Can you hear something? I do. Where is it coming from? You can't tell in here. It echoes too much. Yeah. It's definitely something, isn't it? Yeah, you can hear it. I loved that feeling of being self-reliant and only having to depend on yourself most of the time out on trail. Whether you're just getting your own water, cooking your own food, building a fire to keep yourself warm, they're just such basic essentials that it, that's all it comes down to. And you get to learn new skills, you get to learn how to self-arrest, navigational skills improve. It is just a wonderful feeling knowing that you've got yourself to look out for and that's pretty much it. And you just do, it is an incredible feeling. Yeah, self-arrest. This will save your life in the snow. Yeah, awesome. One thing I never expected to be a highlight whilst out on trail was going into towns, but it really was a highlight. I didn't like the sense that it was too noisy and busy and a little bit stressful, but oh my goodness, I had some great times in towns. Not only do you get to shower and feel clean, get your clothes washed, you eat good food, but it's the people that you meet when you're there, the rest that you get. And I had a lot of fun in towns with people and it was just an amazing experience and 
Seeing such different places on the trail, it kind of just lifts you ready to go back out again. So make sure that you spend a bit of time in towns and also meet the people that live there because they are a fascinating bunch of people. And we're on our way to Big Bear Lake. <laughs> and this is what happens when a load of hikers get a lift. <laughs> oh yeah, we're all squished in. <laughs> Yeah. This is perfectly normal. <laughs> Here we have Poppins with her mighty shopping cart. There's burrito at where are we? Chipotle. 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 <laughs> it's bigger than my head. <laughs> One of the main reasons I did it was for that sense of achievement, of putting my mind to something, working for it, focusing on something and setting out to complete it. There were moments on trail that were so difficult, but pushing through them, it made it all the more worthwhile. And knowing that you've achieved something fantastic that not many people achieve in their lives, it's something that never leaves you. I'm at the Mexican border. Here we go. I'm in Mexico. I'm on the PCT. I'm hiking the PCT. My dream has come true. <laughs> My goodness, look at this sight. Wow. It was worth it. <laughs> 9,400. And seven feet. That was one heck of a climb. I can't believe it. Mount Main Powell. I got to the top here. <laughs> you did it! Yay! So I'm coming at the Forester Pass. It's crazy. I've been so scared about this for the last week, <laughs> actually, nearly the last year, and it's finally coming up. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. So this is the Forester Pass approach, where these people are walking up the zigzags, and people, I think, are just going across the pass up there as well. You can see a little black dot. Got to climb up the snow here. Brilliant. Well done. <laughs> we made it over Forester Pass. We have now come all the way up here. And because it is a high snow year, we actually have to traverse snow in a vertical position going up. <laughs> made it to the top of Forester. Yay! Over 13,000 feet. Oh, look what I can see. It's the sign of the border. I finally did it. <laughs> Wow, oh my goodness. I made it to the border of Oregon and California. Oh my goodness. I've finally made it. I've made it through California. Yes! How does it feel, guys? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you guys, look where I am. I made it to the monument. We have completed Washington. It feels so cool to be here. So many people have hiked through and got to this point and now I'm part of a gang. It feels so good. Oh, what a special moment. I did it. I'm on the bridge of the gods. I've hiked my last mile. I completed the PCT! <laughs> now don't just take my word for this. I also asked other hikers when out on trail. If someone said to you, should I hike the Pacific Crest Trail, how would you respond? And they gave me some amazing answers. So I'm gonna include those next. You will also see a little bit of my thoughts at the very end from my last morning on trail. The PCT, it's a, it's a long trail that you have enough 
you have enough time to think about lots of things in your life so you can figure out what what you can do after the trail and what to do in your life so I think it's a nice journey and I think everybody must to do something like this in their life to a perspective through hiker I would say go for it just do it um, you only live once life is short and you can always find a million reasons not to do something like this um, a lot of times it's money just set a goal save up for a few years and do it and you can look back on it and be proud of it because uh, where else would you find all these very different ecosystems and great views on one trail and it's an easy way to lose a lot of weight <laughs> freedom you know uh, you just You've never had this much freedom before in your life. You, you have to go out and just do it. No one's out here bothering you. You can do what you want. You're free. As far as the trail and why you should do it, um, I found that it gives me a lot of time to reflect on things that I wouldn't normally slow down to reflect on. And that goes for life. Um, you're pulled in so many different directions all at one time, it seems like, back home. Uh, just in this day and age, we're overstimulated, and this gets rid of all of that that you really don't need in your life. And you start to get back to the fundamentals and think about what really is important to you in life. And a lot of times that gets kind of uh, pulled away and you're distracted with other things. So that's what I like, and that's what I think a lot of people need to get out of the trail. All right, the reason why you should hike the PCT it is a spiritual enlightenment you're going to get out here. If you don't believe in anything higher, you will believe by the time you hike this trail. And you will have more in yourself after you hike this trail. Because if you push yourself more than you ever could imagine out here. For me, it was a challenge. The, the PCT in any through hike is going to challenge you more than uh, anything that probably you would ever come across in normal life. And it's a good way to judge your character. And I always wanted to know if I had it in me to do this. And I knew there was going to be hardship, but it challenges you mentally and physically more than you could ever imagine. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. I think there's very few things in our day-to-day -day lives that we can do on such a grand scale that um, compares to this sort of an adventure. And um, I, think, I think Teflon's right. I think it gives you a chance to find out what you're made of, who you are, um, what you value, what, um, just, I think you come away with finding out what's important to yourself and what is, you know, what's important in your life. So it's something I would recommend if you want to be challenged, you want to grow, you want to, um, just personal self-exploration and just have some fun. I think I'll probably walk the slowest I've ever walked today because there's, I know it's going to be over in four or five hours. And <laughs> it's been hard out here. <laughs> it has been extremely hard, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I signed up for this. Um, sorry. <laughs> I signed up for this, knowing it was going to be hard, knowing it's not going to be easy. But I wanted it all. I wanted the hardness, the easiness, the fun, the joy. I want the whole roller coaster, and I got it. <laughs> Now, I will not deny, it was one of the most emotional journeys, physically demanding journeys, and just overall tough experiences of my entire life. But, oh my goodness, it was totally worth it. It was the best experience of my life. So if anyone is considering hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, go for it. Because when you're lying on your deathbed, you're not gonna remember the money that you spent on things, whether you drive a fancy car or have a great job, you're going to remember the moments that matter. You're going to remember the experiences and the things that touched your life, the things that made you feel. And the Pacific Crest Trail makes you feel.